What is up, everybody? And welcome back to Mile Higher Podcast. Welcome back. We are here today for a slightly different type of episode, but it will still be great, I think. Oh, I'm so it's excited be for great. this. It's actually going to be awesome. You know how we had said like in a few episodes that we really wanted to do something well, we kept calling it a bullshit sesh, <laughs> but I think that's what we were calling it. Was it? I think. I don't know. We were hmm. asking you guys, do you want to see some type of, I don't know. And you guys were like, yes, we want to see one where you just kind of chill. It's like more casual, more, we don't really have a plan for the episode. And we really wanted to do that um, also because we wanted to do the, that type of episode anyway. So we were thinking about how do we kind of incorporate make an episode. what we're doing normally with yeah. A more chill. We want this to feel really just like we're kicking back, we're drinking some cloud nine <laughs> yeah. syrup, and we're just talking. You well, know. we wanted the podcast to be like that, but it turns out when you talk about murderers and like crazy <laughs> conspiracy theories, it gets a little serious around here. So we thought it'd be fun to have a more laid back episode. You guys were really requesting that. And then the next time we do this, we are hoping to also include like questions from yeah, you guys yeah, yeah. to Q have like more, yeah, more of an interactive experience. But today we are doing our first ponder sesh which good job on coming up with that name <laughs> i love marketing things <laughs> ponder sesh ponder so sesh. yeah and not only that we have lots of changes happening today if you guys probably oh, didn't yeah. notice can we acknowledge our shitty intro i hate it I'm sorry. so so yeah if you if you like the song today great if not don't worry we're working on a <laughs> Sounds replacement like an, like an 80s or it's 90s too commercial dub and like it reminds I, of like a listerine commercial from the 80s <laughs> it's not chill enough let's just say that it's like not it's just too hype so um yeah so basically what happened is we've done this is episode 28 today and we've been completely fine well guess what our good buddies at youtube they decided to roll out this tool to everybody called content id match and basically this tool is in the hands of anybody out there and it gives you the ability to search out all the content on youtube to find if your content is anywhere audio or video so basically, Silence by Marshmallow and Redbone by uh, Childish Gambino, which we've been using, have been copyrighted. So well, it's yay. changed quite a bit because like the kind of the rule of thumb on YouTube was like just use like a small enough, like we were using like a couple seconds of it, um, that it's considered fair use. And in court, we'd be fine. But then YouTube has introduced this new thing where people can right. split revenue with the revenue with somebody with yeah yeah so which you have no idea what anymore. the revenue split is either it's a, it's quite a bit it's I think. probably like 90 for them 10 for us. so obviously <laughs> we can't like use a copyrighted intro anymore as much as it sucks because we love that song we love the outro song We're i know all... it's just getting good with the I intro know, and you just had it all set you know, up the animations travis did like which by the way <sighs> thank you so much travis Ragsdale. travis Ragsdale. seriously dude you guys gotta Hooks look up, at his man. Instagram. It is so cool. It's just at Travis Ragsdale. We'll put it in the Instagram. He's the one who we'll created the, the logo. He created the animations and the intro outro. Yeah, he's very or talented. the outro one is coming actually. It's super dope. I can't wait for you guys it's to see it. Nothing compared to what he does on his Instagram though. No, he no, does he such does such cool. Like I just stare at them for like minutes at a time. They're seriously so interesting. no. It's very entertaining. So thanks, it is. dude. Yes. But um, next order of business. So yeah. So. Somebody mentioned I should go on Fiverr.com to try to get somebody to make us a homemade song because I because like here's the thing with a lot of podcasts a lot of shows what they do is they do that typical kind of radio intro outro like dear welcome back everybody to the mall or you know like all of that you are listening you're to. listening to yeah. Kendall right and I'm just like that's not us it's just not it just doesn't work for this we're <laughs> we're not I don't know yeah what I'm do you guys think back. but so I've hit up a couple of people and I've got a couple different artists and it making like real songs about our content. So and I, and one of the requirements was it's got it's got to have stay woke in it, of course. So it'll be <laughs> hilarious. God, to see, I, it'll be awesome to see what happens. So, oh, my God. But we'll no, see. they can take it out if they want. But I'm just saying <laughs> I'm skeptical. I'm really bummed that we don't have our regular one. I know. Hey, we'll miss gotta it. Just, you gotta, Rest in peace. Got to move on. Right. <laughs> gotta learn as we go speaking of moving going. on yeah we're moving yeah kind of doesn't matter explain? for you guys it's gonna be the same spot for y'all but um yeah we have been taught i mean obviously we're in a really small space right now i wish we could just like show you guys the room real fast but it's a very <laughs> tiny little box here yeah there's no way we could fit on a third person on this podcast ever in this room so we we thought like eventually we're gonna have to get 
we were going to rent a space. Hopefully that was like the goal. One day, maybe we can rent a space and then we can have guests. But the podcast has done so well. And we're already having like so many ideas for guests that we could have. And we're just really excited about doing that. So we were like, how do we go about doing this? We could rent a space. But we do have this house and like we got this house so that we can have kids one day and they can use the basement. It's a finished basement. But we're like, we're so far off from having kids like years. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> mentally, we do not want kids for like years. Years. So we are going to transform our basement into a giant podcast studio so that we can have guests and it'll just be, you know, mile higher point two. Yeah, like. Or 2.0, sorry. Like, if you've ever seen the A3 podcast, kind of like, that's my, like, dream kind of setup that he has. Just, oh, or like Joe setup. Rogan. Joe Rogan, too. Don't set your stand, it's too high. No, I know, not too high. <laughs> it won't be that nice. But still, it will be cool to have just a larger space, you know, so yeah. you can see the whole room. We can add more things to look at besides us. And, and more people. Like, we have people. people that I think just friends of ours that would be, like, really interesting to have on the podcast. Um, we want to really get guests on that aren't just, like, other people doing influencer type stuff or <laughs> celebrities if we were ever able to pull that off. But like we want to interview people that are just normal people of Colorado that have interesting yeah. things going on. We want to like talk to as many different types of people that we can. And so we just thought it was a good time to do it. Yeah. And, and it'll just like we haven't been advertising like come on our podcast no because we can't we can't have anyone on it yet <laughs> <laughs> you'd be sitting right in the middle yeah we'd have to like have you you'd on our like, lap <laughs> <laughs> seriously though there's just not enough room so it's going to be a much bigger space it's going to yeah. be very cool if you guys have any ideas or you, you know you want to make something for the podcast studio oh that would we would sick. love to have like stuff you know we want it to be a collective area does anyone have, know how to make feel, neon signs <laughs> yeah neon signs anything cool anything logo anything our theme that's awesome. But um, yeah. yeah, thanks to the patrons, though. Seriously. Yeah, like, that's what the main point of this is. Like, we're able to do that because of them. Yes. And your investment in our podcast. Right. And even if you're only doing a dollar, like a dollar helps, dude. Like, seriously, it, it really adds does. Up, and it has allowed us to kind of fast track this thing. Like, yeah. we were thinking we weren't going to do this till the end of the year next year. But but we realized, like, we can do this we now. Can do it. Yeah. Let's get it going now. Yeah. So we can hopefully just get keep the train going, you know. Yeah, so. you guys have allowed us not only that, to, but to have um, our equipment. We have really good microphones. We've been able to invest as much as we can into. Yeah, absolutely. You know, what our into setup the right now is, is pretty nice for what yeah. we're doing. So, so and that's thanks to the Patreon. So, huge shout out to you guys. Well, yeah, because we weren't fucking monetized for like 20 weeks <laughs> yeah. we did like 20 weeks of free epi- and now like, they're still like demonetized yeah us. now we're copyrighted and everything dude just, oh my ugh. god you guys the the oj simpson video that i did that was two parts and like close to an hour long the whole thing was yeah. demonetized yeah yeah and what'd you make like 48 dollars off that yeah, shit the like first day. 48 dollars, dude what the hell i know people never believe That's you crap. when you say That's like crap. you're having ad problems but Thankfully, no, most of the time I've been good, but this particular one kind of stung because it was a long, it was like three days of hell because Mercury retrograded. Wow. <laughs> it retrograded. It, for it sure. literally retrograded. Mercury went into retrograde like right when I started this project and everything went to shit. My memory card was fucked up. The computer was fucked up. The file was fucked up. Endless fuckery. It was just a disaster. So it was kind of annoying that that Endless happened. Endless fuckery. But. Honestly, I was just so excited to get that video up for you guys, though, because I just was so interested in this story. Don't you think we got to do a podcast on OJ Simpson? Oh, yeah, because you guys will want to hear my my opinions on that. <laughs> yeah, Josh has some interesting opinions. Let's not even get into that today. That's a whole <laughs> other box to open. Yeah, yeah. But seriously, guys, thanks for all the support. We, you guys truly are the homies. Thanks for spreading the word. I love seeing like tweets that you guys send of like, us on your like big screen in your living room and stuff yeah. like for me especially to see my face on somebody else's tv is just like it makes me trip out like i'm like oh my god this is crazy this is amazing i never thought i'd see this day you know so <laughs> thank you guys but i got a question from chloe r this week one of our patrons and she has a very interesting question Ooh. she said if you were faced with a kill or be killed situation do you think you would be able to murder the other person in order to save yourself? So I guess answer that first. If you're faced with a kill or be killed situation, would you be able to murder the other? I guess you'd be killing in self-defense, essentially. 
That'd would be you be hard, able to do? Though. It'd be hard to fucking kill somebody. It'd be like, how do you have to kill them? I think I could shoot someone. Yeah, because I would just well, like yeah. point it and look away and like <laughs> yeah. do it. Seriously, but I couldn't like knife someone. I feel like, uh, or, like be hard. Do something It'd crazy like that. It would have to be a very you. intense physical struggle where I'm feeling pain too, so that my adrenaline's like peaked. Yeah, and like I'm just raging because like I know I could like rage on somebody if I got to that level. Yeah, which is very very hard to get me to that level. I think if they were threatening my dogs or you. <laughs> yeah, what if somebody had a knife to my throat? Oh my god! Would you I come would. and stab them yes. in the back? You yes. would. Yes. For sure. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good to know. Good to know. <laughs> but I would hate every second of it. <laughs> oh, then this is the second part of her question. She said, she said, would you plead guilty on grounds of self-defense or try to cover up the killing based on all the research you've done on murder cases where they've successfully hid the bodies? Well, if it was truly self-defense, then I yeah. wouldn't need to cover it up. I am a shitty cause... liar. I'd have to be honest. Yeah. I'd have to tell them. Yeah. Plus It'd I'd be, be like, hard to cover I'd it up. I'd just start crying. I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, I do. I could probably cover it up, I think, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, you're sneaky ass. Good. I could probably figure it out if I had absolutely had to. And there were, and I actually saw like a way out. It would have to be a pretty I don't take like really <laughs> unnecessary risks, so it'd have to be like pretty cut clean getaway there. Like <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> But I think I could pull it off. Did you know the majority of killers are Virgos? <laughs> You know why is because we're fucking methodical we're logical and we are very calculated <laughs> in our moves and we're sneaky as fuck Yeah, so sneaky all of us are sneaky sneaky. Yeah. Well, and <laughs> you have Scorpio ascended Yes, and that really, really helps sneaky. helps out with that. Yeah, for sure. You're just a sneaky little thing You're You know what I am, you know, I would describe myself as sneaky like if you were evil, but if I'm you not were, like, evil fucked up you could be I'm not a bad guy because just because you're sneaky doesn't mean it's bad sneaky like I'm doing yeah. something sneaky Well, you've never done like, anything like Josh right, has never exactly. cheated on me or like I've never caught him in a lie or anything I mean unless it's like it's always been about dumbass shit. It's always about yeah. stupid Josh shit. likes to throw shit out That's like important <laughs> don't, to me. Don't like, expose my me right now. My textbooks one time oh. He was like, oh, I thought it was an old book Okay, that was like the most extreme case But there's been like times where he's thrown out like little tea accessories. No, or, like, like I've thrown out stuff a lot <laughs> like one of the ones I'm most ashamed of is whenever I throw stuff out to just get like rid of the get evidence. That Virgo, like panic where it's like yeah. there's too much shit and I'm kind of a hoarder, so he's just but throws it's not my just stuff this, out. It's specific like tools specifically. Like oh yeah, I don't like to do a lot of handiwork. Like I'm not a carpenter. <laughs> I'm a tech guy. I don't fucking do nails and and you know fucking hammers. So one time <laughs> in the far off history of my life. I threw a hammer away because <laughs> it was a brand new hammer to just toss it in the trash. You've done that twice. I've done. I think I've thrown away a couple hammers actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I threw out a whole hammer. tool set of one. This because I just broken. like because then I knew she would ask if be like, "Where's your hammer?" And I'd be like, "I don't know." She'd be like, yeah. and then well now she knows if it's gone. She'd be like, you "Fucking threw it away." <laughs> So. I started catching on. But yeah, it's just we weird. We still shit. haven't hung up anything in our house, you guys. This is actually so bad. We moved in. We've here hung in up September. more stuff in this room than yeah. the rest of our house. We have like <laughs> two tapestries and usually a couple canvases. And upstairs, it. we straight up have the same old hooks that the person before us that lived here had. And we just hung up our pictures on it. And they're like not even centered. They look, they don't match anything. We like never tried to put up pictures. We never go. We haven't even printed out pictures of our wedding, dude. Dude, like, you're that's right. That's really bad. We haven't. <laughs> it's been two years. <laughs> so, yeah. We hey, I grew up in a house with zero pictures on the walls. Like, yeah, it was white walls that's everywhere. Weird. Yeah, your parents never hung. Photos they never up. decorated our houses. That's strange. Because we moved a lot, though. For yeah. A that's like a pain in the ass. And you have to get them filled. It's true. Holes. It is a pain. I would probably do the same. I feel like in the future, we're just going to have like holograms on the walls of all of our. It's just gonna our walls are gonna be, it's gonna be LED like, okay, panels. You put this yeah. tiny little thing, this little like little doohickey on the wall, and then it like does a little hologram up right onto the wall of a picture. Like a projection? Yep. Just stick it on. Just like That'd be a, really cool. You know, one of those strips, the maxi strips. Oh yeah. <laughs> maxi strips? Is that like am I talking yeah. about tampons now? What maxi are you pads? talking about? Maxi strips? What are those called? I gotta know now. Oh, um the strips. Velcro? <laughs> <laughs> we had God. to get them in the dorms 
Wait, oh, I know it's the, the peel, the like easy peel Yes, ones. I'm trying to think of the name what of them. What are they called? Command those? strips. Command strips. And I'm like, maxi strips? That's maxi like, pad, maxi what? Pads. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> this is just getting embarrassing at this point. Okay, all right. are we ready to start like all right, let's. Out? All right, let's get into, we got we got two things. I have some weird things. shit to share two, with everyone today. Well, before we share weird shit. Oh, right. Did you guys see the blood moon? All right. And here's the thing about it. It Only was a, It was like most of us didn't see it though. It, we couldn't see it. No, I know. I know. I know. Because it was Europe, South America, mm -hmm. Asia, Australia that saw it. So anybody out there from across the globe, what'd you think of the blood moon? Did you see the total lunar eclipse? So I'm sure you're saying, uh, what's a blood moon? Yes. What is a blood moon? <laughs> Enlighten us, Joshua Dor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah. So there was a blood moon on july 27th 2018 and it's what's crazy about this one is it's the longest lunar eclipse we had yeah ever so that's what's or, causing it to be red for a long time is the right. fact that it's a lunar eclipse right it's the shadow cast it's the onto. longest one of the century yes it's the century and it's yeah until 2123 is when we'll see the next one well and it was four hours long four hours <sighs> So it was because it's a total eclipse at a time of year when the Earth reaches its farthest point from the Sun in its orbit, while the Moon will be at its furthest point from the Earth. Therefore, it casts a larger shadow over the Moon. Hmm. Eclipse season happens every six months and reflects changes and shifts. The effects of a solar eclipse can last up to six months, while the effects of a lunar eclipse can last one to three months. Dude, it la it makes such a difference on us. It makes such an impact on us. I think it has like. Uh, there's there's definitely something affecting the planet's energy and its field its magnetic energy field yes because it's i was just thinking about that the other day like the amount of like is this just like normal like summer like it's not just the weather's affected by astrological events so the fact that there's all these volcanoes erupting and like all this activity on the planet have there been the a lot geologic of volcanoes? oh it's been i've seen crazy. some i didn't know there was like an extra amount there's been a ton of eruptions lately wow and there's been a lot of monsoons i mean we've seen this every year i feel like but i feel like it's just getting more and more it is and and more all weather events are like i'm every day i'm looking checking the news and it's just like one weather event after another between tornadoes to monsoons to oh my gosh sorry there's this huge bug i'm sorry guys <laughs> we have a window in our office i was like what? dude you have no Somebody idea just Babe, it here? was straight up like three inches long it's in there oh yeah there's all kinds of crazy <gasps> shit in the, sorry, in the window i'm like trying not to cringe i'm so scared of bugs okay <laughs> sorry i'm so sorry i interrupted you i no, no, no. almost had a heart attack just now it's fine <laughs> it's fine but yeah i agree i think the uh moon really does have such an effect right i think it does too and i don't totally understand how like if you want to ask me a little josh like how does it affect the earth's energy and stuff like i couldn't tell you exactly how that works i don't think we understand that but we can yeah, see the pattern but it's like, interesting the, all the people that commented on we had a podcast recently when i asked like if there's anyone out there in the medical profession who um can tell us whether or not things get weirder during the full moon and everyone yeah. that responded everyone no matter what they were working in one person talked about how she was working at a retirement home and she said all the patients in like a dementia unit and all the patients would like just get up and like really really be confused and were mobile and getting in fights like during the full moon it was just crazy for them so so do, know, you, do you believe that there is a uh, astrological impact between our minds and astrology and just the planets and celestial bodies do you think oh, there's a yeah. connection does it affect us yeah does it I actually so. affect us or is it placebo effect or is it just like completely... i don't think it's a placebo effect that i mean if you look at the statistics around the full moon it's like crazy because like sign the scientific community right now would say that that is just kind of pseudoscience at this point well there's definitely there's no a lot like of it that evidence can't be to, proven. to prove right well yeah that proves that there is that connection i don't i wouldn't like at the end of the day bank on anything like i don't like no commit to astrology enough to be like i am 100 percent sure this is what's true 
in my own personal experience, it's what I identify with most, the most patterns that I can see in my own personal life, patterns I can see in other people's lives, time periods. Like there's a lot that goes into my belief of astrology further just than just yeah. the moon or something. But well, yeah, but I'm just I'm just talking in a very general sense. Like I think I think right now we just don't understand science. Modern science doesn't understand no. that connection. No, we don't, we, because I think it's, it's a spiritual thing. Right. Though. It's that, not connected with right. science. Like it's two different. It's a different worlds. level that we vinegar. can't measure with the scientific yeah. method. So therefore it gets called pseudoscience because yeah. we don't understand it. It's interesting how aggressive people will be about astrology too. Like it's not real. <laughs> it's not someone like yelled at me on Twitter, like in all caps, like it's you're just believing this because yeah basically because you're dumb and i want to be like would you go up to like a christian or a muslim or a jew and say that all of the, everything you believe no. is not real you would not say that like it's maybe you don't thing. believe what they right. believe but you wouldn't say it right i find it so rude that people just think it's okay to just shit on astrology to someone who just like truly believes in it because i'm not pushing it on anyone else i'm not telling anyone this is what's true i'm just well especially sharing what i know case, about it that's just plain wrong in that case exactly like, like i respect anyone's belief to believe anything if that's to believe astrology is a bunch of bullshit then that's fine i don't care <laughs> no that's it's the same goes for anybody else's spiritual beliefs you know yeah we should be respectful of one another. Like, exactly. Fucking Christ. And open to other ideas, even if you don't believe them yourself. It's still okay to listen to something and take interest in right. what someone's talking about right. and not commit to believing it right. or not feel attacked. If someone's explaining what they think to you or what they believe to take it like they're forcing this on me and they're shoving it down my throat. And like, there's no attack there. It's just sharing information. If we were able to share information with each other more freely without people getting angry, the right. world would be a better place. You Wouldn't know? it? People get so like because people about like it. yeah, <laughs> people take everything personal, man. And, oh yeah, and think that you're Especially like this day and age <laughs> calling them dumb under a certain. It's like <laughs> no, and that's where that's where we've gotten to as a society. I like this like off track we're going here, but I th I like talking about this because I think it's important that you know this is where our society's at right now where we can't. We can't find any common ground with one another when yeah. at the end of the day like all this this all of this noise and all of the it's just distractions it's just mm -hmm. bullshit honestly it's all fucking bullshit and at the end of the day if we were you know at the end of the the fucking planet what do we got nothing a human being and a fucking human being it's and yeah, the planet i know that's it all Our the respect other stuff for each other has gone it's based become off of, so diminished right and it's because based it's off like of if bullshit. you don't believe this or if you're a republican and i'm a democrat we're not friends if this and this we're not friends people like find anything to set them apart you like this sports team i like that it's sports gotten really team. bad too it's very because, divisive yes and and in all aspects unfortunately social media and the internet has kind of fueled that because it's given people a platform it's given them a way to sort of blast it into the faces of everybody else un yeah. like unknowingly sometimes like just yeah. put it out there and it's creating a lot of problems and and i'm a, i'm a little worried about where things are headed at this point because yeah. i don't know we're just like in this fucking social war right now it feels like yep like conservatives versus liberals versus you know and and that the fact yeah. that we even have to like refer to ourselves like we all talk about how we don't want to refer to like stereotypes of people like we try yeah. not to be like you know you're the nerds you're the yeah. jock blah, blah, you know all that yeah. bullshit but at the end of the day even as adults we're doing that oh my god even worse by like left right conservative religious not yeah, religious exactly this, it's that. just like when you people actually with tattoos, people look without at it tattoos. yes exactly no seriously <laughs> Wait, like humans will find literally anything to like set themselves apart from other people why is that which is interesting because it makes it makes me wonder if there's a reason for that you know yeah. if there's a deeper reason to that maybe we're just missing the mark big time i think so you know maybe we're supposed to be in these stereotypes but they're not stereotypes they're just groups of people of individuals of like-minded individuals but yeah. all collectively we still like i think it's fun people are going to be different nobody we're not all going to be the same and like people will be like oh so you're a communist or you're but a socialist why can't or we you're... like at least respect someone enough to hear their differences at least hear someone else's opinion learn from it 
take what take something out of it. There's right, probably something not, to right. to get out of someone's right. opinion, even if you disagree with them completely. There's there is something, something there, something. and there's somewhere you can find common ground. And when it like, why is it not okay for people to just be like, oh, we disagree? Anyway, you want to get a coffee like th that doesn't exist anymore. And if we keep headed down that road, and I think even social media is bringing us further and further yeah, apart, as much as it brings it us together, easier for us to divide. Exactly. Harder to stay together. Yes. And that's going to screw us because we have to work together in order to, to get anywhere in life. Well, look at history. If you look at history, the one, the, the societies and civilizations that lasted the longest stuck together. And they yep. stuck together in its in its purest forms most of the time. Yes, and and they they remembered their common goals, their common right. interests, and what they had to have in common, right. common ground. Until it, an asteroid hit them, and then it don't matter what. You <laughs> well, do. that's the thing is like, <laughs> is it even worth it at this point trying to fix it if Ugh. a mass extinction event? Oh, okay, is we're getting due? into mass extinction right now. I'm good. How about let's go <laughs> into the rest of this? <laughs> okay, back to astrology. We have like an anxiety attack. Now let's let's start with our our ponder sesh here. Okay, well I just hang. On, I want to just I'm, I literally just want to mention. Oh, this, this is cool. This is fucking cool. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about this on here. So another big thing that happened this week is we discovered liquid lake under the surface on Mars this week, which is big big news, but not as big as news as I think a lot of people think because we already knew there was water there. Mm -hmm. We just didn't have liquid water but uh, basically the european space agency discovered first evidence of a liquid water lake below a thick layer of ice at the planet's south pole so it could be cold and like a salty layer of liquid water under there so mm. this is big because where there's liquid water there's life there's life My, water even, is lifeblood right which for me, this only solidifies my belief that there was abundant life on Mars at one yes. time. At one mm -hmm. point in fucking the history of everything, yeah. Mars had life, possibly humanoid, poss we have possibly. We got to talk about that. Yes. Sometime. Yeah. <laughs> no, we could do a whole history oh, of Mars. I could episode. say so much. I'm so interested yeah, with the idea yeah. of there being a civilization on Mars at one point that could have been. Right. And there could be one there nukes. now, is the other thing. Is that. Yeah. Inside there's, of it. If there's water there, then. <laughs> You know, if we they know there's this technology could be somebody under the surface Mars too. mermaids. So that's, that's very crazy. interesting. And I think it, this is just yet again another, you know, we're slowly inching our way towards this official sort of declaration of we're not alone. You know, we're not mm -hmm. the only intelligent organisms in the fucking universe. It like, seems it's only a matter of time until everyone's going oh, to just come to that. Time conclusion. is ticking down. I mean. Whether you like it or not, it's happening in our lifetime. A hundred percent. I'm you gonna really say think that. So? I think so. A hundred percent. And that's really exciting. I'm really would you fucking bet pumped. Our entire life savings I would bet our that? entire life savings on it because because the amount of the amount of space things that are happening right now is it's ramping back up. We're ramping up. We got the space force coming. We got all of these missions planned yeah. to Mars. There's a reason for this. There's a reason we're 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 not fucking with the moon and we're going straight to Mars. There's a reason for all this. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, we're not fucking with the moon. Yeah, seriously. It's true though. That's so crazy and that's happening in our lifetime So yeah, you know towards the oh. end of our lives It'll be interesting to see where we're imagine things are at. one day guys We're you know podcasting 20 years from now and we're talking about the first Mars landing Elon Musk has set the flag down. Oh. He owns it officially just kidding But that would be so interesting to watch happen like yeah. just just buckle up and enjoy the show my friends. There's a lot of interesting discoveries We're on gonna, the horizon The that I feel like once they kind of roll out the you know We found microbial life on Mars that kind of opens the doors for yeah. Oh By the way, <laughs> look what else we found look there's a way you know that thing called Roswell well Guess Turns what? They were from here. We actually recovered some alien beings there. Yeah. And rever reverse engineered their fucking technology. Speaking of which, guys, we're doing a trippy talk on Roswell this week. It'll oh, be yeah. up like the day after this is up. So we'll probably be up by the yeah, time you're watching yeah. this. Yeah. Which time. Roswell is a very interesting uh, story and event in, in US history. Perhaps it one is. of the most significant ones. But right. I don't know. It's pretty exciting. So let's, let's get into uh, what the ponder sesh is. So, what is this ponder sesh you speak of? 
Well, we just thought that <laughs> since we've been pondering already this whole time, that's basically what we want to do. We spent the first half hour just pond. It's We're just going to continue <laughs> that, but slightly more structured. I really think I called it a bullshit fest or something before, but <laughs> that's I've not changed as the friendly. name <laughs> to ponder such. I like it. It's well, and it's not bullshit. It's all like factual things. It's all interesting. No, it's interesting really... stuff. Make yeah, you think. We just wanted stuff that we just wanted something that was a little more easy for you guys to digest, <sighs> to just listen to. That's not like, oh my God, the five families are taking over the world you know we <laughs> or just, just like to be able to like know, hit the brakes a little detective. bit yeah and just have something a little more casual so that when we do have guests it feels a lot more natural and we know how to just conversate right. without following a storyline right um we gotta so practice i think we're giving like a huge explanation you guys are probably like yeah cool I mean, <laughs> like get good. on with it get on with i it. just know there's gonna be those people out there that are like it's disappointing kendall and josh yeah. not have <laughs> A full crime. Uh, I think this is a little unorganized. So. Some people like come hard. It's like guys. This one's gonna please. be unorganized. If you don't like an organized, Just like join us. out. I got ADHD. This shit's never gonna be organized. Like Ain't this is it truth. is what it is. But right, this is you got so interesting. Right, okay, ready? So John Wilkes brother, John Wilk Booths. Okay, do you know who he is? Come on. John Wilkes Booths. What are you doing with your Starbucks? Dude, my straw is destroyed. Dude, look at this straw. Oh. It's butchered. What happened? Okay. Anyway, John <laughs> Wilkes Booth. Yes, I know who he is. He killed Lincoln. He killed Abraham Lincoln. Supposedly. And in the future. Allegedly. Sorry. <laughs> John Wilkes Booth's brother. John Wilkes Booth. Sorry, I keep struggling to say his mate, name. Saved Abraham Lincoln's son. Isn't that weird? During, do you want to read this? I feel like okay, I'm just going to screw sure. up the words. <laughs> so during the Civil War, a young Robert Todd Lincoln was traveling by train from New York to Washington during a break from his studies at Harvard. He hopped off the train during a stop at Jersey City only to find himself on an extremely crowded platform. To be polite, Lincoln stepped back to wait his turn to walk across the platform, his back pressed to one of the train's cars. The situation probably seemed harmless enough until the train started moving, which whipped Lincoln around and dropped him into the space between the platform and the motherfucking train. Yeah. And wow, that's fucking dangerous. And then Lincoln probably would have been dead mean if a strong stranger, stranger. <laughs> had it yanked him out of the hole by his collar. Yeah. Who was that stranger? None, None other, other than, than Edwin Booth. What? One da, of the da, da, most da, da, celebrated da, da, da. actors in the 19th century and brother of eventual Lincoln assassin John Wilkes Booth. Isn't that interesting? Their wow. past collapse. Interesting. Uh, the brothers, too. Interesting? Ah, or fate. Seems like yeah. fate to me. If I John, know. I mean, that's interesting as fuck. I thought that was really interesting. But he says Lincoln immediately recognized the famous thespian this was sort of like if george clooney pulled you from a burning car today and thanked him yeah because he was like a celebrity <laughs> yeah and the actor had no idea time. to whose life he had saved until he received a letter a few months later commending him for his bravery in saving the president's son how weird is that and it's like but little do you know my brother is gonna murder your dad wow how weird is that Sometimes I swear the shit is written before like this is all pre-planned. It's very like. interesting There's like weird <laughs> synchronous synchronicities in life. Is it synchronicities or synchronicities? I can never there really is whatever. that's so interesting. <laughs> Isn't that so crazy? I just thought that was so interesting. All right. I have one other little thing. Okay. Fast. Okay, so you know runs the candy You yeah. know those like nasty fruit things. They're oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever like like a certain flavor of them? Some people like only like I only like the bananas of those. I love. Oh them too. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my. That was like it for me. The yeah, bananas. Yeah, that really sweet banana. Yeah, taste. yeah. And you know how that banana taste is kind of. It's like really sweet, but it doesn't taste anything like a banana. Right. Like it's banana way too sweet. Is yeah. Generally, it's... not like a banana. No. So there's a reason for that. Oh. There was a type of banana called the, I think it's Gross Michael. It's G R O S Michael bananas, and. These were like way sweeter bananas. And this is what they modeled the flavoring after. It tasted like them. But this type of banana, when it was called the Big Mike the or big. the Fat Michael in French. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, in the 1950s, the majority of it was wiped out by the plague. Whoa. Yeah. 
Isn't that weird? So we don't have these bananas anymore. It's actually the, it's called the Panama disease. One site said the plague, but I don't know. It was a wilt caused by the fungus. Um, wiped out the bananas all in Central America. So yeah, now they're not in grocery stores. And that's why when you taste anything that's banana flavored and it tastes like not like a banana, but still like kind of good, it's it's modeled after that Fat Michael banana. <laughs> that's so weird. Isn't that weird? Fat Michael. So it's just interesting because it kind of sparked an idea in my head of like how many things, how many food items over the years, over the fucking hundreds of thousands of years this planet's been around. How many have gone like extinct? Yeah, seriously. There's been a lot, I feel like. There's probably a lot of fruits that our ancestors were munching on that we've never tried or we've never heard of. Or oh, types yeah. of things. Don't you think that's interesting? I do think that's interesting, actually. Hmm. Very interesting. Thank you for enlightening yeah. me about the artificial banana flavor. something flavoring. to fun to ponder. <laughs> <laughs> ponder about that. I have a series of things that are gonna take take us a while. So if okay. you have something else you want to share, we should get through your stuff because this is gonna be No, I can wait. I mean I can always save it for the next one. So I found these really interesting statements that are I'm not gonna tell you where they're from. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> because because I can't prove whether or not they're true or not. But I wanna know what you think about these statements. Okay, they're about that seems weird. No, it's just about the universe, basically. Okay. All right. Are you ready right, for the first one? So, these are just 10 oh, different... Oh, they're true or false. They're just okay. true, true or false. Okay. So, do you guys think these are true or false? So, first statement, and think of them as truth when I read them. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. All right. So, first statement. The universe is teeming with life... And many alien civilizations are millions of years ahead of us in their technological and spiritual development. Do you believe the statement is true or false based upon what you know and believe? I say probably that they there's probably are way more advanced. Is that what it's asking? Yes. Years ahead of us. In our universe, is there but so alien civilizations that are millions of years more advanced than us? I think logically that would make sense. But I have a question. This was actually sure. one of my questions that yes. bounces well off of this. Good. Would you be more scared to find out that there was tons of alien races that were way more advanced than us or to find out that we were the highest, we were like the most far along. We we're like leading the pack as which far would as scare technology me more? and innovation. Yeah. Which one would scare you more? The, the latter of that. I would be more scared to know that we're the superior beings. Yeah, I agree. In the universe. I think like, that oh, I would fucked. be like, oh, man. <laughs> Then I don't even want to see what's on the other planets. Like, yeah, <laughs> it would have, yeah, it'd just be like a mess. I mean, yeah, I'm sure I mean, it'd just be a disaster. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, when I think when you look at everything, one of the other interesting things is like when you look at our solar system and you look at, you know, what what makes the solar system the solar system? Why is it a solar system? Well, because we, our sun, we have a home star which we orbit around, and our home star is very big. Mm -hmm. very big com in comparison to our planet and mm -hmm. what just blows my mind is the fact that our sun is not the largest home star in our galaxy so there's definitely so life. there is yeah i mean there this just if you look at the math the math tells us plainly that there has to be life there has to be life and with that, there's got to be intelligent life out there, and I mean, depending on what you what you know and believe around the UFO subject and and phenomenon, then you know you would probably say that there is intelligent civilizations abundantly throughout our entire universe, our galaxy, our solar system, even, mm -hmm. and that they are most likely way ahead of us spiritually, technologically. And like a lot of people talk about that maybe the maybe aliens or the aliens that are visiting us are interdimensional. So that's why, you know, we don't see them in the way that we would think that we would see aliens, you know, because yeah. they're interdimensional and they're maybe they come through different ways or they look like different things or, you know, we just can't see them because they're in, in existing in another dimension within yeah. ours. That's so trippy to think about. Boom. 
Yeah. All right. So true on that one. Alien visitors have been coming to Earth longer than humans have been living here. But a universal law dictates that a lower civilization should be left alone. Interesting. A universal law dic- ah, dictates that a lower civilization should be about. left alone. So, so the idea is basically that there's like some type of rule that's preventing aliens from like from helping us or them. contacting right. us. Because, and that's totally possible. If you think about it from a spiritual mm-hmm. perspective, it could be something where it's like you have to earn your way to a certain point. And you have to like naturally evolve. Can this human race go through the tests, the tests that are presented to them on their own, and make it through to become a pl- uh, whatever type one civilization or something similar to that? Well, when you think about it, and the fact that there even is a scale of civilizations and stuff, it yeah. only makes sense that there's higher level civilizations. Well, that's just something someone made, right? The Kardashev scale. It is, but but it's based upon. The, the, the mathematics and, and statistics around how large everything is like Fermi's paradox right, and all right, that but right. there's scientific but you, like you said it. I think when you look at it from a spiritual standpoint maybe a part of our growth and our evolution as beings yeah is we gotta we gotta do it on our own we can't have a savior come in and and just save us from you know ourselves I think you know as intelligent and you know, deep pondering human beings that we are, or at least some of us. We try. <laughs> you know, that we should be able to figure this out on our own without help from, you know, extraterrestrials or a higher being or race. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that they aren't observing or that they're right. kind of making sure shit don't get too out of hand. You yeah, know? like, okay, if they set off a nuke, then we're right. going to go in. The nuke thing, that's very <laughs> interesting, which is is definitely one reason why they might try to intervene it's really interesting and like almost funny to think about aliens watching us and like what would they think of us like i think about that all the time what are the weird things that they would be like what the fuck are they doing oh i'm sure i'm absolutely 100 like percent like sure a babysitter like a bunch of <laughs> out of control monkeys down here literally <laughs> literally like running around we're like we're like confused. the chimpanzee cage at the zoo like <laughs> literally like running around beating our chests like throwing shit you know literally like maybe that is like like i made a video about we're an alien zoo <laughs> what if we're just a zoo for aliens <laughs> i don't think so but i would i would believe that they'd be monitoring us for some type of reason we can't understand if they are out there All it's right. hard to say because like there's no proof that they're even real as, as i have never seen with my own two eyes proof yep there's a lot of interesting things to ponder that is out there like in front of me like but, i've read yes. watched but i've never touched felt smelled licked anything <laughs> anything extraterrestrial <laughs> good so don't fucking do that <laughs> all right so good i'm glad you like that question here's this one here's a statement some higher technology like free energy anti-gravity techniques and vibrational techniques that cure diseases or make matter unsteady are also known currently on earth but this is kept secret what do you think uh i mean yeah you think so yeah free energy no. i mean this is stuff we've talked about it yes. is i would be shocked if there wasn't there's a lot of proof especially if you look into what like nikola tesla was doing and stuff definitely definitely well yeah i mean if you that's all that's where you look gotta first. keep us dependent on like mankind yep on the man right well that's what we've talked about is you know all these elite families that control all the industries of the world that yep. we rely upon for our uh-huh. survival so i think absolutely there's technology and different things that are completely just removed from our everyday life right now that could literally be helping and saving people and you know why i don't know for sure but you know some people say that it's the most powerful people a part of this you know elite ring of people known by many names so i don't know and do you do you think that 
the elite people that are running the world are like really like the Illuminati or the satanic type people like that scares me thinking about that 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 I could don't be... know if I've seen enough proof for that um I don't know that stuff creeps me out too I don't like to think that that's what it is but I mean it could be what do I know yeah, yeah. I have seen some weird shit you know you can only deny so much shit after you've seen some weird stuff you know well I mean when you look at some of the, like some of the motives of it, it it absolutely is occurring like people are being abused people are being uh kept ignorant and in the dark about a lot of things you know yeah and you know some people even believe that we're being poisoned <laughs> no seriously like through no water i know and, i know. You know i just thought this was supposed to be a light-hearted episode. no this is deep dude this is going deep. i know i just wanted one day to like, okay not well be you can kick it back over to your your because we probably are being stuff. poisoned like come on Anyone who's listening to this like knows that uh, I, it's just a statement all you all I'm asking for is an opinion Yeah, anybody can think what they want about it, but I'm just yeah. getting an opinion. I think it's absolutely true. Okay, good moving on Good <laughs> good Listen to this motherfucker. Over why, don't, why don't you hit us? With yeah, something. I'm like trying to tell you guys about right. banana flavoring. All right. Josh well, is like all right. We're going deep, <laughs> we're going deep You and don't want to we're going inside my head guys. Okay, this is more where my head goes I'll I'll save the rest of this for another time. We don't have to go because it gets pretty deep. Yeah, pretty deep inside yeah. our souls, pretty much. So give us give us some more. Okay, well then this one fits in really well because I'm doing it right now. Why do humans have such a strong urge to distract ourselves from the real world? Why do humans have such a strong urge to distract ourselves from the? That's a good question. Because we have all of these different states of mind. If you think about it, like we have all these different states of mind that all require different things. I feel like I feel like I have like three phases of my brain. Three phases. What are I have they? a phase that's for like working work mm -hmm. phase. Yeah. Where I exhibit and use these skills and, and knowledge and things for this particular job. But like once that's over, my mind transitions to the next phase, which could be relaxing or, you know, and yeah. You know, but just like humans in general, like some people don't want it. I mean, at least you and I and like people listening to this are are paying attention to the real world because you're listening to this podcast. So you're learning a lot about the real world. Right. Um, and the reality of things. And then there's a lot of people that just literally hate watching the news. They're like, oh, I don't watch the news. I don't listen to that. I don't do this. And they only want to watch happy things. And like they cannot oh, handle yeah, anything yeah, yeah. outside of it. Why do you think that is? Do you think it's because it's deep down they know it's that it's easier. probably not real? And your mind always is going to take the easier path. Yeah. That's the bottom with anything. It always goes the easy way. And the easy way is to just be like, ignore, ignore, exact, exactly. deny. And there are some things I hear about and I get so freaked out or so bothered that I, I have to kind of deny or like turn away from for a second. Then I have to like revisit things again and take a double, you know, another look. And, but yeah, I think it's definitely hard to accept the reality of our world because it feels so big. It feels like the biggest problem ever. Like when you th start naming all the issues we have in the world and all the things people should be aware of and all the oppression and all like it's it's a lot. You start taking it on physically and you feel literally I start to feel physically tired no, absolutely. thinking about absolutely. the world and like the problems we face. Yeah. And what some people go through, you know. Yeah, some people I'm just like I don't even know how you get through every day like I know. it's just crazy truly Because I think that you at, at the end of the day you do need to build a sort of escape from reality a little bit mm -hmm. I mean and I think a lot has to do with the way that our world is and the way that it's conditioned us and and sort of programmed us to be this type of way where you know we are tried we're tied in mm -hmm. connected in to the hive at all times you know we're like yes. always plugged into the hive because yes. we're like little worker bees we're all like doing our jobs yep. fucking you know working for the system right to make it all to work hive. or whatever but it's hard i mean it's hard for some of us to unplug because i think you've got to unplug in some way shape or form from one type of reality to another i think there's just multiple realities that exist and you can create as many realities for yourself as you want yeah it's just up to you. It's up to you. What do you need? What do you want? You yeah. know, some people need tell. more than others. So, yeah, no, it's totally true. Okay. This is another interesting little thing here. Guess what the national anthem of, I mean, sorry, the national animal of Scotland is. I will give you 
hundred dollars if you can guess it. Bagpipe. An animal, Josh. <laughs> no, it's not a bagpipe. <laughs> um, is it the Scottish Fold? Oh, I wish it was. Guys, we were oh, <laughs> go to YouTube, type in, type Scottish, in Scottish Fold, Fold. cat. So cutest cute. shit ever. There's this one on uh, Instagram named Otis that looks exactly like <laughs> Lily, but flattened, and it's so cute. Oh God! All right. <laughs> no, go ahead. You don't. I'm asking you. Do you have any other guesses from oh, Scotland? Oh, uh, Scott. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, no, I don't. Um, is it a duck? No. Is it a bird? No. A deer? No. Uh. I don't know, a sheep? It's a unicorn. No way. Yeah. Is it really? It really is. I looked it up. Look at this. What? Yep. That's Scottish. It's probably because that area is so rich in like medieval history. Yeah, dude, and, you just read my notes pretty much. That's yeah. exactly why. Yeah. Um which I, that's actually what they're known of, for their myths, legends, ghosts, witches, right. magic, yeah, water monsters, like, and fairy folk. That's like medieval central yeah. in that area. Yeah, they love that kind of stuff. But they really, it really is their animal. Um, national animal. Do you guys have any like Scottish people out there? You're like, oh, hell yeah. Of course it's Scottish. Unicorn. Scottish. Look at that. Scotland national animal. That's unicorn. cool. Speaking of cool. mythical animals, though, if there was a, if there was a mythological creature or animal you could bring back it to life or make it real, which would it be? Like a mythological creature? Any mythological creature. Probably like fairies. Fairies? Yeah. I've always loved the idea of fairies. Hell like yeah. as a kid, I used to just like really geek out. I had this one babysitter that would always come over and like she would rub my back as I went to sleep and like tell me about fair this fairyland. She's like, and in the fairyland, you can design your own little house. And I used to mm. love the idea of like being a fairy. It'd be cool to like have some fairies in our backyard. Be like, oh yeah, those are just our fairies. Just like it's a bird hive. Or yeah, something. that would be like, a bird hive. Wow, <laughs> a beehive. <laughs> what kind of birds are in your backyard? <laughs> what about you? Oh man, too many to to name. But uh, I mean, obviously, dragons would be so cool. Just such a cool sight to see. Could you imagine, like? Yeah, it would be really cool. It'd be really cool. Giant scales. But if it looks anything would be like cool. the one in Shrek, I'd be like down. Dude, so many, so many different mythological creatures. Okay, here's another question. Yeah. So we've been watching this show called Amazing Interiors on Netflix, and it's really interesting. It's like all these people have pretty average looking houses, but inside it's like a fantasy fucking world. It's crazy. Yeah, or just something like completely, yeah. you know, up against the norm or just yeah. different from normal if houses. you could design your own special house what would it be like any house <laughs> it'd be a hobbit house i knew you would which say is that. basically which is just an ecological like self-sustaining uh home so it's it's basically <laughs> underground Fit for a hobbit and your roof is grass and you've got just you know just a simple little under the ground in the home. lush area with fresh access in the forest to the spring or, water Yes, fresh access. Oh, that's one thing that really tempts me about that. Like, I could maybe go do this with you. And oh, your it, it would be amazing because we could just do whatever we want. We could grow whatever we want. Oh, it would be and so fun to all the plants we that could I could have, have. I could have just a huge like, greenhouse. We could have a greenhouse on top of the house. Yeah. So you just like walk upstairs above ground and there's a greenhouse. How you cool know, would honestly, that be? You know, honestly, you and I have like the same dream house. It's so funny. We're, God, can you imagine that we're married? But can we are so similar. Can you imagine two earth signs might yeah, fit it off? Yeah, two earth signs. <laughs> Seriously, as long, I would We're like, we want to have... live in the earth, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how off the grid I'd want to live, though. That's my only disagreement. Well, I you like can to live be off like the close grid. enough that I can still get to Target. But like, I would oh love to. Oh my God, if, you, you don't know, need to go to damn Target. I need to be able to get to You've Target. you got Amazon. No. No, they're not going to deliver to our hobbit hole. They will. But it'd be cool to have a place that was self-sufficient, eco-friendly, near and had a major city. A lot of bright lights, or I mean, a lot of bright natural light, where I could just have a ton of plants and possibly a greenhouse. That would be my dream. Good goals. Let's make it happen. We could do it. We could definitely. Absolutely, like, dude. It's not that much to have house. like a self-sustaining house. Like it would be awesome to j just like, you know, not have to rely on you know some other entity to like live our lives you know i i'm i'm jealous of people that have figured out how to like make themselves so self-sustaining and like capture all of the solar energy and uh you know all of the uh the water the hydro and all that it's just so yeah. cool i feel like it's like feel where like the that. future's at i know 
Good thing we're on the same page and we're not like. I want to live in a high rise downtown on a penthouse, man. What? Sorry, I kept thinking I heard something. Dude, upstairs. you got me wigging out too. I heard. Oh, oh it's, it's someone just like outside. fucking driving a loud car. Uh, yep, it's a motorcycle. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> God, I was like, someone's breaking in. Okay, all right, moving on here. Do you want to? Do you have another thing? I have another thing. Okay. Do you know what? <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to say it. It's called like bonotropy. Boantropy. <laughs> it's B O A N trophy. Boantropy. Boantropy. Bone therapy? Do you know what it is? No. It's a, a psychological disorder where someone believes that he or she is a cow. What? Yeah. People they think like, they're cows? Yep. And they eat grass. They go on their all fours. They like drink water. They moo. It's like a is real this, thing. This, is this goes back in right? time. Yeah, it's a psychological disorder. It goes back to the book of Daniel. King Neba. Nebuchadnezzar Nanazwa. <laughs> I have no idea how to say his name. Say that again. Nejua Baja Nawazwa. No way that's right. Olajuwon. Okay, but yeah, he used to um he used to tell people he wanted to be like eaten like a cow. Nebuchadnezzar, dude. Oh. <sighs> it's Nebuchadnezzar. What's that from? I don't even know what that it's, fucking it's is. It's biblical, that's how I know it. Oh, he well, was a I'm king. Sorry. Yeah, he was a king of so Babylonia. From the Bible? Yes. Well, the oh. the Bible's just a, the Bible has a lot of ancient <laughs> text in it from what was written about history at that time, like Nebu Nebuchadnezzar, Scrooge. No, I'm just kidding. It's I not can't Scrooge, believe it's Nebuchadnezzar, and I'm like, you just say? No, but oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> oh, it's Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. Well, yeah, he was. Um, yes, he conquered Judah and Jerusalem, and he also sent the Jews grass, into exile, like an ox. <laughs> And people get confused you must and they leave think my that this land. is Move. for <laughs> people get confused and they think that it's for all animals when you think you're any type of animal. But no. This thing is strictly cows and ox only. How do you develop that? I don't know, people do. Isn't that strange? That's really bizarre, man. I think it's very rare, but <laughs> there's some, you know, recordings of it in history. <laughs> interesting, right? Absolutely. You know something that I find interesting that blows my mind all the time? What? Is why the hell don't we have the map the bottom of our ocean mapped out? Like uh yeah. Why don't we know what's under there? I agree. That's like, crazy. To why me. is it that Google Earth, if it's so powerful to take a picture of the whole planet from satellites, why can't it like like show us what's at the bottom of the ocean? Because they're hiding a lot of things at the bottom <laughs> of the ocean, I think. Right, yeah. You're probably right. You're probably right. Absolutely. If there's because, submarines and there's like secret bases, obviously. This is things. crazy, but only three people have ever been to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest trench on the earth. It's the deepest point on the earth that we know of. God, I can't even imagine the air pressure. I can barely go in a 12 oh, foot in, pool without like <laughs> fucking cranking. Oh my God, dude, it'd be insane. You'd have to be in like a little fucking <laughs> bubble. Pressurized yeah, thing. pressurized bubble. More people have been on the moon than on the bottom of the deepest point in our ocean. What the fuck? We didn't think to like, let's figure out what's know, at the bottom. It's a lot less far. I mean, is it? Is it how? Is it as far as it is to the moon? How many miles? How many miles? Why do you always want to know how many miles are? I don't have the fucking miles. Okay. I'll Why do you look. want to know how many miles everything? The mile. It's like twelve thousand miles. Why wouldn't I ask that? What do you bet? You think it's bad? I want to inquire no. about something. How, how deep how is deep this? How deep is this shit? It's deep. Was thirty six thousand feet down? Yeah, it's thirty six thousand feet below sea level. What is that in miles? Trench. Seven miles down. Seven miles. Okay, so it's way. It, how many is it to the moon? Like two hundred thirty thousand or something. So seven. So why are we not just going to the bottom of the Mariana Trench? Why haven't we had like a bunch of submarines just like rove the bottom and try to figure Imagine out what's down the there? Shit, we would find. Ooh. There's some creepy things underwater oh, yeah. that people have captured oh, that like yeah. have been unidentified, like weird looking. The deep alien sea creatures things. are bizarre. Well, that's the thing yeah. is like there could be straight up aliens. Down They've there been down there a long fucking time. There's like dinosaurs down there, yeah. possibly like shit that's like so old megalodon. that's been here for thousands of years could be living Did at the bottom. You guys want to see a podcast on the megalodon? I think that'd be kind of how about fun sharks in general, like just sharks. Right. Josh shark has a episode. major shark fear, but I love them at the same time. I yeah, you do. Cool. 
I yeah, love him, but well I'm, with a podcast about but sharks. I wouldn't I don't think I would ever get in water with him because really? I respect them unless it was like small <laughs> more like you're fucking nerf terrified sharks. of them. I respect them so much. I do not want to go Dude, anywhere near them. Did you see the video of this girl that was feeding nurse sharks? Oh, yeah, that got her yeah, fucking arm almost I don't know bitten why I'm off. Laughing. Yeah, well, I was like, the fuck, but it's a shark. But why dude? would you why feed you it? To, right? Feed it's not, I'm not blaming the shark. The shark doesn't know you're holding food. It might associate the food with your whole fucking thing. Oh my god, hand. shocking. The shark is being a shark. Yeah, wow. exactly. That was the most shark thing we've seen a yeah, shark do. Full, fold out shark. Yeah, don't feed sharks, you idiots. It's like you don't feed the bears. You know, you don't go <laughs> feed a bear and be like, hey, bear, you want some food? Mm. Here, come here. Rah, come you know? rip my fucking head off. No, people oh, are dumb, dude. People God. get way too close to that. And then, and then there was a story that a group of poachers got munched by a pride of lions that they were hunting. They got hunted by the hunted, or actually, no, they weren't hunting hunted lions. Hunted by the hunted. They were hunt. They were poachers hunting fucking rhinos, dude. Which? Oh yeah, you took fuck that. We need to do an episode on poaching. It's horrendous. It's horrible, dude. If, if you want to get really pissed off, if you're an yeah. animal lover, like, oh my god, think looking at what they do is just sick. I can't believe people have like no conscience because they they're not these... taking anything from the rhinos but their tusks. They kill them or their horn. Sorry, and take their horn and fucking leave the rest. It's yeah. like such a waste. Such a waste. It's so terrible. Like, it's no, sick. I absolutely want to do a poaching episode because yeah. I think if more people were aware to the issue, yeah. then we might be able to make more of a difference, you know, yeah. like than we already are. Because it's a big problem, dude. We're going to lose species. Like, our yeah. kids are not going to know what the hell a rhino yeah. is. They're going to be like I mean, a we rhino. We lost bananas pretty fast. Think about how fast we could lose, like, something like a <laughs> rhino. But that's like, you know, look at the animals that have been. And extinct it's like pretty mind-blowing the it creatures is. that should be here today and that aren't which it's interesting that right now they're getting very close to being able to bring back a woolly mammoth they're gonna bring back like recreate a woolly mammoth wow we're gonna we have the technology to build to bring scary. back extinct species Maybe we shouldn't do that so we though. could have a real life jurassic park situation Ooh. on our hands no, they're really doing this though. They're really going to bring the woolly mammoth back. Could you imagine if there was like a fucking woolly I mammoth? I actually have you could read this see? about. I read about this before. This yeah, crazy. they're they've like figured out how to genetically do it. They're like everything is getting more advanced and more advanced. And I just like I said, I it just can't wait to see what comes out in my life. Like there's gonna be so many interesting things. I feel like every day I love to wake up and see what weird shit has happened in the world. And it's and it's going to continue advancing. And I think the good thing is that it's getting better. And I think people are waking up to the reality of things. And we're all realizing like we want a better we deserve a better world, a better place to live without fear and war and violence and fucking unnecessary yeah. conflict like we deserve a better world. And, and the next generation is going to demand that. I'm telling you, we're like getting so much closer. Like we're so much further socially. We're so much, so many more people are aware and are demanding like better sourced meat, for example, or, you know, just better. Higher quality food, higher there, quality there's more living. There's interest in quality. sun, you know, uh, solar, solar yeah. power. So I think we're like headed, like the next generation's really has way different values than the previous. So you know it's gonna get better it is it's a hundred percent gonna get better i think because i don't think they can stop i don't think it, we can be stopped at this point which is a good thing so the, so right now we're just kind of in this period of i think 10 20 years max where you know we're gonna have to deal with a little bit more shit um, unfortunately hopefully not a war or hopefully not some sort of major you know scale conflict that causes a lot of issue for all of us but i think if we can get past that and continue moving forward and continue on this track that we are and helping everybody else become aware to the reality of everything in our lives just more conscious it's just mm -hmm. being more conscious more of a conscious being that's yeah, all, well, we're, all we're trying like to we do like we keep saying a consciousness shift going on and people are definitely raising right. their consciousness so when we you know that's why we called our podcast mile higher we're bringing your consciousness higher we're bringing things up right. raising 
consciousness levels. That's that's the goal of it. That's why we we named it that. Obviously, because we live in Denver too. But because <laughs> we're a mile higher than sea level, a, that's probably a good place to end it here. This it probably helps. Sesh. It's a this was a great ponder sesh. I this gotta was say, really I really enjoyed this. This was went by really fast. I hope you guys like it as much as we did because this was like really fun. Yeah, I like, love doing hate this. this. this was <laughs> you guys, suck. I never want to see this Just again. Just read us a crime. <laughs> 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 no, but for real, I know some people may not like this style, and you know it's okay to tune out sometimes and come back when you if that's what you want to see because we're definitely going to have more things like this in the future. Well, yeah, and I, um, and I, think, and I think the majority of people really like this and are going to really like this. Yeah, and I mean, I love being on a mission for our episodes and like covering like in depth on topics and stuff, but I think it's important to just kind of conversate and yeah. have just casual conversation about these things and give you guys an opportunity to really hear our opinions so that we can then hear your opinions, obviously. And what and you have guys free think more room to go off. I hate that every time I say right. anything it's not in like, another podcast, it's going off on a tangent. Yeah, you're like, always like there might be something I want to say. Right. No, that's the great thing about this is like this is just us hanging out, talking about interesting stuff. Like this is us with a camera, without a camera, pretty much the same thing. So but we hope you guys enjoyed listening to it because we definitely want to do more in the future. So right. if you and did if, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, do all the things that you gotta do. To let us know yeah yeah and seriously thank you guys and a lot of things are exciting are coming we're you know doing a lot i know it's it's you know not been where we want it to be but we're gonna get it there we're the gonna podcast get yeah just oh we're... this is exactly where i wanted to no be. i know we're no, doing no, no, better no, than i, I thought we were gonna, i have high hopes for this okay no, we're doing great, and, and I can't wait for the, the new level. space. Yeah, me and too. you know, we've—I already have a lot of people in mind that I think would be super interesting to come on here and just dive deep into different things about. Yeah, from some all people that you guys areas. may not even like know of, like some people who have some incredible information or insight and things to teach us. It'll be really fun to just open up the floor and let somebody else talk for <laughs> yeah. for a while. Yeah, and well, you guys want to hear some other perspectives too? Yeah, you know? absolutely. We and should hire. We should get hired. <laughs> we should ask someone to come on and like try to like debate us about something, like debate no. a conspiracy. Oh my god, like, that get was... heated up in here. Let's have a, just a religious debate. How about like a debate on like Michael Peterson or something? <laughs> no, but I, that's what I'm saying is it would be cool to talk to like an ex investigator or something. Like, yeah, I'm sure that i'll be able to drum up some people that would just love an opportunity a platform to come on and share the yeah. wealth of information on something and i would love to do i just be generally interested in doing that and yeah. you know and we also aren't going to limit this to physical guests we yeah, also yeah. want to do phone call stuff yeah so. we'll get to a point where yeah. we can do like virtual guests so yeah we can have somebody virtually via you know yeah. internet we might call, have someone out like there that. in our audience that would be incredibly interesting to listen to i know i really want to talk to a coroner really bad or someone that does stuff like that like someone that it's in mm -hmm. you know mortician type field yeah and i think it'd be in yeah no absolutely. i would love to hear about that or an investigator or just any i mean there's so many different people so we'll definitely once we're ready to start looking at guests we'll have like an email address for you guys to hit up if you feel like you would be an interesting guest but yeah that's it for us today Yes, thank you for joining us for episode 28 of the Mile Higher Podcast. For Ponder sure. Sesh with Ken and Jay. Ken and Jay. Ken and Ken Jay. Kenja. Okay. That's All right. Sorry. Of that. But thank you guys for joining us. <laughs> like, subscribe, share. Please share with your friends, family, your kids. Whoever. And don't forget to stay woke. We'll see you next time. Bye.